Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the economy and why Alpha Investment is so upset and just kind of take it from my perspective as to will this recover or are we always stuck in this kind of stagnation. First and foremost, magic cards are not important for real life. Uh, magic cards are a luxury item. Um, like you can say you can print really nice proxies and you can play with your friends and this is totally legal and it's something that more and more people are going to be doing in the future, right? I'm not talking about counterfeits, I'm just talking about proxies. Any card can be printed in a printer and and then st stuck onto another card and played. Uh, magic is not life uh, and magic is not that important right now. So a lot of times people who have a large heavy bags, you know, we're talking about heavy bags. They will all they Rudy's in the situation where he still has to sell you magic cards. So no matter how bad it gets, he will always be very positive about magic cards, even in his negative videos. Many times he'll title a video very negatively to get the click, and then the video is like, Oh, magic is going to the moon. Hasbro stock to the moon. Oh guys, I'm gonna buy out this one billion dollar company. You guys are joining me to the moon. Um, a lot of what he does is crypto language. Um, 69, if you ever wonder why he bought 69% of it, the grading company, or everything is 69 this, 69 that, 69 mystery boxes, um, it's because that's crypto language. In fact, you know, in, during the FTX trial, um, Sam Bakeman fried I think it was Sam, or it might have been like Gary Wang, like, why the obsession with the numbers 69 and 420 as he wanted investments in, in those numbers? And it was like, oh, well, that's how this thing goes up. If the magic set or the product or the mystery box, the only thing it has for it is some very immature, hilarious 69 on, on the number, 69 boxes, right? Then, like, what the F are you in putting your money in? Like, you see these mystery boxes from a year ago, and these people are spending $700 a box. Some of them are buying four bo I think the limit might have been four boxes. Are buying four boxes to open, and initially they get a, a good you know hundred or two hundred views, but then they never appear again. They're just gone. Um, let me be what like super honest with you. You gotta care. Right now, as a business owner, I think I care about my money more than I ever have cared about my my, my money before. Um, ever, ever. Um, yeah, so this is a, um, person I talked to, uh, watching the video, his sorcery pilots got lost in the mail and he did not refund his patrons for the missing items. I addressed this at five minute mark. And I said, laugh out loud. I knew I was coming. I got a message from his patrons. Laugh out loud. They mad. Dude, this is crypto 2.0. He's actively scamming people to their face and laughing to the bank or at least a credit union at this point. Um, and then we're talking about Blake Martinez. So another person, I mean, the people are not stupid, right? Well, I mean, most of the Timmy's are pretty stupid, but at some point in time, if you have a hundred dollars a month to play to pay this guy, you're probably, you know, a successful business. A hundred dollars a month guys is Disney plus times 10. You know, it's like, it's like Disney plus with YouTube. YouTube is actually very expensive. YouTube live. It's like getting all the, like, so what are you getting for $100 a month? Oh, you get the opportunity to buy, buy more junk boxes. Well, you know, th this is not in, in, let me let me make um, sure that you guys understand. This is not an investment opportunity. This is hell on earth. Um, liquid, liquidity, right? Um, and at the end of the day, if there's no liquidity, right? I think um, you can't get out of it. And and that's the point, right? That is the point. Um, that is the point. So I, I fear for these people who were over leveraged. I fear for these people with their credit cards and they're paying for the page. I fear for that dude who had to sell his collection to Rudy Chan for 10 cents in the dollar. You know the collection price is low when Rudy won't tell you what it is and the guy selling won't tell you what it is. 
because that's how a scam works. You know, many times people ask, how do scams? Why does the victims of scammers, the one they never come public? Because they're too embarrassed to tell you that they got like wrecked financially. Um, and then the person who is, you know, scamming obviously doesn't come public either, right? So it's this mutual understanding that you're so stupid that if people knew what you sold your collection for, like people actually knew your honest numbers, not your fake pretend numbers, right? Your mystery numbers, right? They would think very, very less of you, right? Then that's why these numbers are not public. Do you think Card Kingdom gives a shit? They have the buy list, they throw out the buy list, and it's transparent. Um, I don't, you know, I, I've always been on it when I was doing my buy list. I always say I would mass the highest buy list of any online vendor. And I did. I did, and I threw in bonuses sometimes. Sometimes I pay for shipping if it's sealed, or I will split shipping with you. Um, there's added additional bonuses to, um, there's added additional bonuses, right? So let's be real. Let's let's be 100% real and transparent here. When you have this many heavy bags, it feels like you're drowning. It feels like you are drowning. And a lot of times, you know, the idea that you can buy more, oh, now the prices are low, buy more, buy more. That is the worst financial advice because when you make these financial advice, and let me just be quite clear, he is making this idea at the end of the video that now is the time to buy and, you know, the positivity is going to go up soon and no one talks about positivity. What is positive? What is it positive to talk about for Magic the Gathering Investment? I really want to know, Rudy, like what, what the F are you talking about here? At the, in the last like nine minutes of the video, he just completely goes insane in my opinion because none of the things that if you rewatch that video um, for starting 40 minutes in, it just doesn't like make any sense. Like, you know, things can always get like Hasbro stock, take it for instance, just because it's sub $50 doesn't mean it can't get lower, right? There's no floor for something like that. It could go to zero. And at the end of the day, you know, you got a lot of people thinking that they can take over Hasbro and then they're going to run it properly. You have no idea the mechanics of a $1 billion company in the toy space right now. And I would probably say that um, all you need to do is look at Mattel. Mattel is also down a ton. So could it be that no one wants to play with dolls anymore and figures and stuff? Could it be that no one wants to play with paper magic? Could that be? I don't know. Um, maybe that's the bane is that the whole industry is in turmoil and will continue to be so until they find a viable digital product.